If you've been following me for a while, you may know that I am a big fan of the Lotus brand. And I actually been lucky enough. Okay. I've actually been lucky enough to have two myself. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> oh. So recently they announced a new model and ever since I really want to see it and that is exactly what we're going to do today Lights please ah. Right, cross your fingers that it starts Hey There we go, I'm going back on this and dropping the car off here. In good company. Right, next stop, let's go see this Lotus Amira finally, shall we? Okay, okay, one last thing before we go see the Lotus. I want to speak to you about the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. I'm actually really excited that they're sponsoring this video because I've been using Nord for a little while now, especially for F1. So as you know, we've recently come to the end of a pretty exciting season and I'm living in Geneva. Do not have the English commentary on Formula One. So I have been using NordVPN to get access to the English commentary. I don't know what it is, I just cannot watch it in French. And it's been really useful and I've been chatting to them and I'm really excited to be able to finally collaborate with them. As well as it's also kind of perfect timing because it is the Christmas period. So I'm gonna put a link on the screen right now uh, yeah, it's a special link that we've created together where you guys are able to access a pretty exciting promotion around the Christmas period where you can get two years with one month free and uh, just a really, really good deal on the two years. Where I believe it comes to two euros 80 every single month to be able to access um, footage, videos, whatever it may be from all over the world. So it's a really good deal. It works supremely well. There's no lagging. And thank you, of course, to Nord for sponsoring this video. Anyway, finally, we're here and we can see this car. I've been seeing photos of it, videos all over the place. This is a launch event here at uh, Lotus Monaco. So if there's people kind of walking through or a few sounds, I'm sorry, I can't exactly control uh, everything that's going on. But I just wanted to show you the car in a bit more detail. I think the design is really beautiful on this. Um, it feels like a huge step up for the brand and I really wanted to come see it in real because it's always different to get the perspectives of the car on camera and I'm sure you guys uh, now are, are kind of facing that issue but let me tell you that it does look great and the proportions really work in the flesh. You've got an Exige right here, actually quite similar to the one I used to have. And then having the Amira next to it really shows how much more kind of grown up the car uh, looks. I love these lines. Not only will serve an aerodynamic purpose, I'm sure, but they also give that aggressive look to the front of the car and really make the front wheel arches pop out a lot more. And those really nice, nicely finished front headlights. Isn't too low. I'm not, I don't think it's gonna have any lift system, but it doesn't look too, too low to be able to get around. And I'm sure that's been thought of quite a bit. It's got this beautiful uh, metallic blue paint color. It'll be available, of course, with two engines. One's gonna be a four-cylinder AMG engine, which first deliveries are expected at end of year. And then there will also be the more traditional Lotus V6. You know, two good options. Of course, the V6 is gonna sound great, but the four cylinder is going to be the most complete package potentially. It's going to be available in both manual and with a, an automatic gearbox with the flappy paddles, which is going to be lovely. Where the biggest change can be felt is on the interior. And let me go around to show you this. Um, I kind of just wanted to get first impressions with you right here because ugh, this is where you see the biggest step up. Obviously, visually from the exterior, you can feel the step up for Lotus, but right here, it just feels like a whole different ball game. Even just things, for example, there has been a bunch of effort put into the actual sound system and speakers. But on my Exige, it kind of just felt like there were some bolted on, but to see that now is really cool. There's also fully Alcantara and leather door panels, for example, an Alpine, which is, you know, I guess, similar kind of ethos car, has fully plastic door panels right there. So yeah, the extra 
effort really does make a difference, I feel, just from sitting inside it. This is kind of like a prototype car. It's not got an engine in it and everything's kind of uh, feels slightly flimsy because of the fact that it's not kind of a final product. But it looks great. I love the design of this kind of slightly squared off steering wheel. Buttons, electric buttons on the steering wheel of a Lotus. I mean, never thought I'd be saying that anytime soon. Fully digital dash and touch screen here. You don't have any buttons on the center console. It is all done through buttons right there. Well, sorry, a touch screen, not buttons, my bad. You've obviously got in this one, the example of the flappy paddles. So if you do have a manual gearbox, that's gonna be fully gated like in the 380 that I had, where you'll be able to see the whole mechanics of it. Overall, I just think it's a really nicely kind of designed beauties and simplicity interior. This really makes me think of Lambo, picking that up to have your, your start stop button. Two cup holders, nice little storage spot right here. And speaking of storage, you do have some space behind these seats, which look great, these seats. So the Lotus Emblem, Alcantara Center, and leather. Okay, I'm gonna get out of it now because I feel like I might be getting in people's way. I love these um, air intakes right here, which really make me think of the uh, uh, Porsche Turbo. This is obviously a first edition. Like we're seeing more and more with cars, the first few ones are classified first editions right there and um, anyone who orders one of these early cars will be able to get one of those. There aren't many options you can get uh, on this, which I find interesting. It kind of comes fully uh, specked out and then you just kind of pick your color, etc. Nice little details around back. So you got like this little air exit to get rid of the turbulent air. A few other nice details like the blacked out exhaust tips, but there is a speaker right there. Um, so I'm not gonna get too close because else all you're gonna hear is the music. Mainly I just wanted to be able to have a nice little quick look around the car with you guys um, because I find it to be a really exciting uh, product and really exciting for the brand but I'm curious to know what uh, you guys think are you kind of excited for Lotus to be going down this street or do you prefer it when they stick to this kind of car I think it's really cool I think it's what they need to be doing Lotus is such a historic brand uh, one that's always been close to my heart at least and I know to the heart of many many petrol heads and so to see it kind of taking this new step is really exciting and I think it's been a success so far this Amira but let me know in the comments down below I wanted to kind of just do a little vlog because I knew I was gonna come here to see it today and I wanted to bring you guys along for that so hope you enjoyed it uh, I know it was a quick little whistle stop tour of the car but uh, yeah just thought it'd be fun to have a little look around anyways take care guys subscribe if you aren't already see you soon bye bye